yes, I do comedy and I look like this. You're welcome. You're welcome. I am a hero. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I realized that I can't die right now because uh, I haven't even been gay that long. <laughs> yeah, I've only been gay for six years. Full time, full time. Yeah. Yeah, I was being gay on the weekends and that shit don't count, okay? You gotta put in real hours with this gay stuff. All right, now I have like a gay mentor to make sure I hit all gay 12 steps. Uh, I have a straight parole officer to make sure I don't do no straight shit no more. <laughs> right? Like kiss with both your eyes closed. You do that? Yes, you do. Very straight. That is so, ugh. You straight, ugh. Yeah, I kiss with both my eyes open. That's very gay. We just want to fucking see your soul. That is so romantic, right? Yeah, um, I'm femme. I see a lot of you people looking. There's a lot of guys that are like, gay look like that now? Yes, we look like this. <laughs> Not all of us are Ellen, okay? <laughs> if you don't know what femme is, femme means I dress like I look like I want men to talk to me, but I don't. <laughs> Unless you're industry, right? <laughs> Whoever books Riverdale, come talk to me. I wanna be on that show. I will talk to you, Trevor, all right? <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of people ask, um, who's the man in the relationship? Because I usually date women that are also femme. And I just think it's like a ridiculous question. You know, like we're in a different time now. Gender does not matter. It doesn't matter what gender you are. We are all fucking miserable in relationships. <laughs> we all are just one argument away from dating a tree. <laughs> I think that's pansexual, I have no idea. I have no idea. I think Janelle Monae is that. Um, yeah, people ask me, who, who, who is the man in a relationship? Does that matter? That doesn't, that doesn't matter. But uh, I'm not making women come, so I'm definitely the dude. I am the dude in the relationship. <laughs> Look at all the women laughing and the men are like, what the fuck is she talking about? Everything, I'm talking about everything. Even Alexa know that we not coming, okay? She can hear us not come. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're not having orgasms. Um, they're very complicated for women. Men, you could lose your whole family in a car crash and you still coming on the walls. That's just, that's just what it is. I think that Yin Yang twin song, all skeet, 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 that's y'all coming everywhere. That's what that song is about. But us, is it just a little bit more complicated? We are thinkers, we are constantly thinking. We could be in a full-blown position and be like, did I blow my candle out at home? <laughs> and then we can't come, right? <laughs> I think women need a lot of things to have an orgasm. Like for me, I need a slither of light, just, just a little bit. I don't know if there's any dudes back there. Just, this is much light we need in the room. Uh, not really to see the body, but to escape. That's what I'm looking for. How the fuck do we get out this place? Right, because anything can happen. What if an intruder comes through the window? I did take that class, so let's go. But I'm also older, so I caught that Charlie horse. I got Mace in my purse, but I also got a bodega cat in there, so I can't protect nobody, right? <laughs> yeah, orgasm, orgasms are very complicated. I don't know, there's a lot of variables that gotta be set up. Like for me to come comfortably, my direct deposit gotta hit. You know, that's, that's what I need. I'm not asking for much, Greg. I'm not asking for much. I can't release until the money is released on Thursdays at midnight. That is when I'll be drip dripping. Clean up on L7, that. <laughs> Cool, but they always show these like movies where there's these sex scenes and the like lead up to it is like so dramatic and I just, I just can't relate to it. Like they'll have um, a man and a woman go in the house and they're kind of drunk and like the guy will throw the woman up against the wall and rip her blouse off. Yeah, that, I can't relate to that. As a woman in New York, you know how many shifts I fucking work to get that blouse? 
And you just ripping it off. You didn't even ask. You didn't ask for consent for the blouse? You asked me, but you didn't ask the blouse. Is that okay? And then I threw that little packet away with the buttons. Like, no, you can't just rip off my buttons like that, bitch. I need my buttons. I wanna, I wanna see a, a sex scene that's like super relatable for me, you know? Like I wanna see them throw a woman up against the wall and rip her blouse and then the tag come out, you know? She's like, ah, I didn't know this date was gonna go this well. Um, I was gonna return this shirt tomorrow. <laughs> Don't get nothing on it. I'm not Monica Lewinsky, you know what I mean? Zara will not take this shit back. I, I was in a relationship for five years uh, and, and it's like, I didn't go further with it because like the next step was marriage and I just don't want to get married for the wrong reasons. Like I have friends that are getting married because they don't want to die alone. <laughs> Bitch, grow up, grow up. <laughs> Nobody want to see you die. That is just, how selfish are you? Listen, I've seen the way I sleep. I don't need you to see me die. No, not at all. I saw a picture of me sleeping. Both my eyes were open. I was looking like I was taking a shit. There's no way I want you to see me die. And then imagine, imagine if you spend 30 years with somebody for them to be with you on the last day. Imagine your last day, you on a Casper mattress, because if you're going to die, you're going to go out in comfort, right? <laughs> and then you with some guy named um, Trevor, who used to be a DJ in a performance fleece, uh, cause that's who's just around. And you ready to go out and you, and you whisper to him, you're like, ah, I think this is it. He wasn't ready, he wasn't prepared for you to die. Like he doesn't even know how to fold a fitted sheet. You think he knows what to do when you die? So he runs out the room to get some tissue and then you dead by yourself, bitch, like that. What a waste of 30 years. I was with you for 30 years. I was at every fucking show dancing and shit. And you weren't making me come? What a waste. Everybody gotta be single. 